All right, crew members, we're back at it. BLM. In this video, we're going to show you how to do a weather routing and some of the features surrounding weather routing. So in the last video, we set up our New York City departure and our Bermuda arrival. I've got my weather turned off. You can turn your weather back on simply by clicking on the display or don't display your grip button. So routing's uh, super easy. We're going to click the routing button. We're going to do create a routing. Um, I'm, we're not going to route from the boat. Uh, we don't want to do that because the boat's not at our first mark. This is useful. Um, you know, if you did want to route from a boat to simply a point of interest, you can do that too. Or you can use a pathway. I did create a pathway, but what we're going to do is just uh, go from our NYC departure to um, Bermuda arrival. And uh, we're going to keep the start date right now. Um, and uh, I'm going to leave the uh, isochrones um, as they are and select best accuracy for this route. Uh, unless you're using a tablet, you should probably always um, select best, best accuracy. And even tablets today have plenty of processing power. So I'm going to name this thing NYC um, Bermuda. And this is, I'm going to just put this at 80%. Um, if you remember, I downgraded the polars to 80%. Um, and click OK. And we're going to watch this thing make a route. So you can see the isochrone starting to show up. This is, if you sail this direction, that's where you would be. Uh, distance-wise, uh, according to the polar diagrams. So you can see the route here um, being developed. And you can see a gull wing come in, must be a weather front come through there. And we're almost down to Bermuda. So there we are at Bermuda. So with the 80% um, grip settings, it took us four days, six hours, and five minutes uh, to get there, which is pretty darn realistic. I've actually sailed the Tiana 52 um, on this exact route, and it's if you can get under four days, um, you're doing pretty good. I think the best we ever did it was right around four days, right on the nose. Um, so this is pretty darn accurate, and this is a pretty darn accurate uh, depiction of the courses we never normally took um, on this route. So I'm going to click OK here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Uh, you can see the isochrones um, going, and then you can see the course line here. I'm going to click on the course line, see if I can get the highlight. I guess I can't. Um, so anyway, um, you can see we've launched out here, and um, yeah, I went a little bit uh, south of the uh, Great Circle route, which would be, I guess, the direct line, and um, yeah, we've got, uh, was it four hours or four, four days and uh, five hours. So let's go back to our, um, our boat settings here. And go to boat settings. I'm going to go back to my polar diagram. Oh, it was 90% and 80% at night. So what I'm going to do is take the polars right on up to 100%, uh, 100%, and I'll do our nights. Um, I'm going to say 95%. I'm going to say OK on that. What I'm going to do is up here. I'm going to take my routing and. Uh, And I was thinking about hiding that thing, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. Uh, delete that thing. And I'm going to say routing, create a routing. Same as last time, New York City to Bermuda. Um, done. And then we're going to call this one. Uh, so this is my routing with. 100% performance during the day and 95% during the night. Let's see how much faster we get to Bermuda with this guy going. So you can see it's uh, started off with a little bit different um, angle. We were actually like north of the uh, um, right circle route there. And now it's really pulled us off to the south. So look at that. Um, completely different uh, you know, pathway with a little bit more performance dialed up in the polars. Uh, with an arrival of three, three days, 14 hours. Um, I've sailed this numerous times, and like I said, I think the best we've ever done was like three days and 22 hours or something like that. Um, but that was also on into Bermuda. And uh, so anyway, still uh, super accurate here, um, you know, within a few hours and, uh, you know, very well thought out course, three, four days in advance um, with weather prediction. So Let's just have some fun and see what a couple other boats would do here. 
And I'm going to go ahead and delete that one and say goodbye to that routing. Let's do another route, create a route. And what I'm going to do is take that Morgan 41 and I'll bet money that Morgan 41 doesn't make it to Bermuda before we run out of, uh, eh, we should make it to Bermuda before we run out of uh, Grib data. So let's see what type of route uh, we end up with on the Morgan. Um, I would guess the Morgan's going to stay closer um, to a straight line here just because the Morgan's a slower boat and not going to get off of that uh, gray circle route so much. So three, three days, 22 hours. So still not bad for the Morgan uh, 41. Only uh, uh, what half of a day difference. I'm surprised with that to tell you the truth. I figured the Morgan would have uh, Worst performance than that out there. And let's kill that route again. And kill the Morgan. And let's do a create a routing. And oh, maybe I didn't have the Morgan in there. I don't know. Um, and let's look at the Volvo 70 um, on this one. So the Volvo 70, this should be like a two day trip or something like this. And yep, it's. And see how much further the. Uh, Isochrones are apart for the the 70. You can just see it covers more and more ground. Yeah, so one day, just over, just over a day, so about a day and a quarter. So like I was saying, into your second day. But um, booking right along, and you can see completely different performance uh, route that we've calculated for the uh, for the Volvo ocean racing boats. So that's it. Uh, that's how you use um, GTVLM to do a weather routing. Um, what I'm going to do is go back and do uh, one more routing with the Tyana and turn the grid files back on in a um, next video. And um, in that next video, we'll have a look at uh, the weather routing versus uh, reality here.